Okay. Um, hello, uh, my name is Roland, and uh, today I would like to present my examination task, the presentation for the new journal. Uh, what I have done, uh, I have defined the scope for myself, what I will do in, in uh, that exercise. So the idea is that I will analyze needs for the new journal, I will analyze current process, so as this process, I will provide business process model for the new journal, and as well as will provide IT solution development plan with the needed changes. Um, I have realized that there, is, there are several restrictions. So one of the restrictions is that we, we have to use this uh, open journal system. We cannot, so I don't know the reasons, but it's clearly, clearly written that that's the restriction. And the second restriction is related to, to this one, is that we have to uh, basically either uh, configure or develop the plugins for that. So, and uh, this means that uh, we are not doing the uh, revolution in the process, but we are trying to, uh, to make it better, to, to improve it. Uh, I have evaluated existing model, so I see the good, good parts of it. So basically it's very good input uh, material, so you can see uh, what's where and uh, you can basically see the, the process as it goes. But uh, there are many bad things as well. So this is just one level, so what, there was just um, one process with uh, two levels and this means that uh, kind of it's this picture too big, we cannot show it to, I don't know, to a uh, management board for example, so it's just too detailed. So, and as well, it's not really displaying the whole picture as well. And, uh, and uh, there are also, of course, some uh, semantic errors. So the process error endings are the same as the positive one. So you cannot really say so which is error and which is the correct flow. And uh, there are uh, also one, one thing which is, uh, so it depends how you look on that. So there are different types of models. If you look at that as the part of the uh, of enterprise, models from enterprise architecture, so it is okay that we have some samples from that, but if that's um, just made to show the whole picture, then I think it's not the, the best uh, way how to do it, because there was the Archimate, something like Archimate model, uh, BPMN and then others as well. Uh, so what I have done as well is I uh, elicit requirements from the materials and uh, compare them uh, to current model. So, um, as you see, I have the four I guess, uh, areas, but uh, okay, the, the first part. So I have the general business rules that uh, we have. We should have four issues uh, for to work simultaneously with four uh, issues. Then uh, paper have to be reviewed three uh, by at least three reviewers, and then ensure that the issue to be published quarterly. So you see that basically it's. Uh, no, no, and one is possible, but it's not specified in any of the diagrams. Uh, the same as you see this uh, for maximum comfort for alter. Some of the things are there, but uh, still many of them are not, not there. And the same, so extra to the flexibility and usefulness, uh, relevance things, uh, they as well you see that they are rather red, they are not, not defined in the process. And uh, it's not, uh, yeah, the one is not possible to specify. Uh, so basically the conclusion from the restrictions and the uh, analysis of uh, this situation is that uh, uh, it should be heavily reworked and, uh, but there are still, par it's partially reusable. For example, flows of the paper submission, copy editing, layout editing, proofreading, uh, they look good, some small enhancements are needed there, but, but basically they look good. Uh, I have uh, certain processes, I have even, in, even uh, four levels, I have level zero, level one, level two, and level three, you can see that, say, of course, that each, each part is, it could be split in, in, in smaller one. Uh, okay, level zero, so the, the one we can show to, to the management, let's say. So uh, we have uh, two streamlines, one is the uh, journal editorial team, and the other one is paper editorial, uh, team and author after as well. So uh, what what is new? This uh, administrate areas and sub areas. Then uh, I have plan issue, publish issue, and process paper. So and uh, here also in, in, in this model show the KPIs. So 
three illicit from requirements as well. So, and they are that at least one issue, uh, so the, the number of issues per quarter, then uh, issues, number of issues published on the official date of publication, so do we deliver what we promised, and the one for the paper, that the paper is reviewed in the one of the 1.5 months. Of course, we can define much more performance indicators, but these three I see as the, uh, as the key for our success. Uh, I also have another picture, just not to have everything in one. Uh, there are sets of, of requirements, so that the areas of the requirements as well, in the level zero. Uh, so, if we compare the score, uh, we can say that uh, it's, um, it's, it's not really a manufacturing process, but still we somehow assemble things and, and produce. So, we can uh, com compare on this zero level to, to the source level of the score as well. So, we have the plan, this is the administration of the areas, and planning of the issue, uh, we have source, which is partially pro. Uh, uh, processing of the paper, but uh, as well make is also the part of processing paper so that we uh, edit and improve the quality of the paper. And we have delivered when, when we publish the issue. And uh, even if it's not specified and not requested, uh, we have of course also a return, and this is the feedback we get from our readers. Uh, like, yeah. uh, so level one, I will not go into very details, but basic, basically this is the uh, for processing paper. Uh, then I have uh, level two, uh, which is review paper, which is this part of processing paper. And uh, I put also the IT requirements here. You see that all those IT requirements basically mean that uh, certain things are redesigned here. Uh, I have the published paper at level three as well, so even smaller uh, granularity level. And here, this is basically the new sub, uh, sub process. Uh, is introduced, so you see that basically everything has to be done. And uh, the level two, the plan issue as well, so that you see it's uh, created new process which previously was not there, not described, so of course we need for that, like basically everything is, should be covered by requirements because we haven't had this before. Uh, as well as publish issue, basically it's the new one, I redesigned that one as it was not specified uh, in details. Then. Uh, administrate areas and sub, sub areas there were certain requirements uh, for the sub areas so and it was not previously uh, designed and uh, the one the level three so administrate areas so certain flow how we should inform and who we should ask so that's also the requirements uh, <coughs> there. and uh, okay uh, the summary uh, basically <laughs> uh, once again the requirements I compare to my flows, then uh, do I really cover all those new journal requirements? And uh, I should admit, so that uh, it's covered, that's good, but that was the aim. And uh, the second part is, is covered as well. <coughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, then uh, IT development plan. So basically, as I see it, uh, I see other three deliveries. Uh, the first one is that, uh, which is critical for the KPIs. Uh, and it is that uh, I have certain requirements for the process, uh, processing paper and publishing paper. So, and I think that uh, we, if you start right now, we can do by the 1st uh, July. And uh, basically, I think that we can go live. If you want to launch this uh, journal, uh, we can uh, do that as well. So this is critical for us. And then we have second delivery, which is the administration of the areas and sub-areas, so that we give the flexibility as well. And, uh, and then I have third one, which is the planning issue, so that for the next year, and in my process, it is so that uh, uh, you, can, you can start planning for the next year. So you see that's in, in the end of the year, so the next year could be started with, with a new model. And uh, so, uh, okay, sorry, um, yeah. And the last one is that, of course, there are many other features which should be improved and could be approved, and for that I see we can uh, go this in an agile way to create backlog and uh, real work. So most important things first, and, and then other things, if, of course, we have the budget for that. Uh, and the, yeah, the iteration concept for the each iteration we can use, as we have certain restriction, so we, uh, we can develop the plugin. We can uh, configure, we can develop and configure as well, then it's testing important, 
which is often forgotten. And uh, then we have user acceptance testing. So if it's positive, we go to the live environment. If it's not, of course, we have to uh, do some rewarding as well. So uh, that's it. And uh, thank you for your questions.